Trader, Trade Trader, Cobb Crypto Podcast. Podcast. This is the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. G'day everybody, welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Hope you're having a good start to your day or end of your day or middle of your day, depending on whereabouts you are in the world. Well, what has been going on? Well, yesterday, let me tell you something. Yesterday, I went to uh, a lunch, a lunch for fintech uh, leaders, it was, put on by the Australian newspaper. So thank you for having me along to that, to everyone who's listening that was involved in that. I got to meet some amazing people in uh, the Australian fintech environment and um, have some great conversations. There was a wonderful panel that was also there, and I was able to ask questions regarding their thoughts around blockchain and the as of the crypto asset environment. There was a lot of people in that room that were very curious but didn't know too much about it. And there were some leaders in that room uh, that are mostly from a VC background or still are VC that um, are involved. And I'm trying to get one of those onto the show. Now, what was really interesting was that some people had a very, very strong opinion of certain things without literally having any idea <laughs> at all. I had one person tell me that uh, all ICOs were frauds. They were all cons. They were all a waste of time and money and that there was no such thing as a utility token, for which I politely just said, okay. <laughs> uh, and I, you know, there's an old saying, you know, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it's, you know, you, do you, what does it say? Something about arguing with fools, you just agree with them and move on. I, I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, my role is in this space, from my perspective, is to do what I do. Uh, my role from as a public position uh, with this voice that I have through the podcast and through the education and whatnot is to help people that are looking to be helped. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. And I'm not trying to drag anybody kicking and screaming into this industry. For those that miss out, they miss out. But for a lot of people in that space yesterday, I can tell you that the thing that was kind of concerning was a lot of these people were, you know, backed by banks or were in banks and big, big areas like this. But they're in a, you know, looking at the fintech side um, to expand the operations. Now, one of the things that they are concerned about, and and they do have genuine concerns, and I agree with them, is that they're kind of thinking that they don't really know how this is going to work out. It's the sort of saying that back in the internet days, you know, it was, there was a lot of companies that had wild valuations, but they didn't actually have a product. It wasn't until the boom and bust that we saw the Amazons, the Googles, this sort of thing come out and, uh, and sort of stake their claim on the dot-com era. But it was very interesting nevertheless. And um, obviously, as, as I get to go to these events, I will keep you guys informed with anything additional that I think is worthwhile you guys knowing about. Now, whilst I was at lunch, um, not a great deal happened in the markets, but last night there was a little bit that happened over the markets. Now, I've been talking about Bitcoin back to 8,000. I've been talking about this pullback into the cradle zone. Now, the thing is, it's pulled back, <laughs> but it's not pulled back very far, and there is already a red candle there. Now, I, I still believe that we've, we've got a high probability of it pulling back even further in, um, higher up, so maybe 7,800 7, or beyond. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see this capitulate from where we are right now across the top 10. I think we still have room uh, to pull back further. We may get a higher low on some of these uh, eight hour, four hour, 12 hour type time frames. I'm still waiting to see how it plays out on the daily. That being said, if I look at something like uh, Ethereum, uh, right now we struggle at that 586 level, which is a little bit of support and resistance, not majorly significant, but it was the only level that was on the chart. And guess what? It hit it on the nose and has since fallen from there. And uh, it has found some serious weakness. Bitcoin Cash continues to uh, follow Bitcoin. Literally, it's doing exactly the same as what Bitcoin is doing. EOS, again, pretty sideways, not a lot going on. Cardano has pulled back and has held up. It's the only one of the top 10 that is still up as we speak. But across the top 10 as a whole, we are seeing some weakness on that daily candle. It is printing red for the most part. So what do I think is going to happen? Well, the good thing is, is that I don't really trade what I think. I trade what I see. What I'm seeing now is a bearish candle in that sell zone on many of these tokens. I'm seeing Bitcoin not pulling back very far at all. I uh, look at this chart and I think when I look at the four hour, when I look at the eight hour, when I look at the 12 hour, I don't see the market in a position where I'd be happy to short it right now. That being said, that doesn't mean it's not gonna fall further. I just don't see a trade across any of these top 10 pairs at this stage because I wanted to see more of a pullback uh, on that daily time frame. Until I get that, until I get the optimal conditions for me to be placing trades, 
I shall not place trades. I'll just sit out, I'll watch happily from the sidelines and wait for my opportunities because in trading, it's as much about being patient and knowing about when to stay out as it is about getting in and getting your hands dirty. And right now, I still have only the one trade on for the moment. It's Bitcoin Cash. I got stopped out of a trade yesterday uh, for a loss and uh, I've got Bitcoin Cash on short still on that hedge. So I'm very much just sort of sitting back waiting for my opportunities and um, letting the market play out. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens over the next few days, but I shall sit back and wait and see what goes on. Now, for those of you who are in Sydney, Australia, I know we have a major global audience, but for those of you in Sydney, I will be at an event in Sydney tonight. Um, it's the Block Grain event. If you're around, come along and say hi. Also, if you want more information, if you want more details about TraderCobb and you want to jump onto any of the resources, go to tradercob.com and fill your boots there. Of course, you can jump on my Facebook as well. That's just Craig Cobb and also TraderCobb. If you Google that, you'll find both profiles. And on Twitter, at TraderCobb. That is C-O-B-B. -B. Guys, have a fantastic day. I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye for now. <laughs> The Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Check out tradercobb.com because experience matters.